Hey guys, it's Ethan. Today I kind of wanted to go over um, using patches through Portage and um, more specifically how I manage my DWM and my ST and basically all of my suckless tools through Portage rather than doing it by source. Though I might switch over to doing it source at some point. This is just how I learned to do it, so I'll just go ahead and show you how I go about that. So the first thing that you want to do before you even emerge port or when I say DWM is you want to grab the patches or at least what you want you don't actually need to grab the patches first but this is just kind of what I like to do so we'll say um, we want actual full screen what else Hmm. You know, let's stick with actual full screen because it's a really good one. You see, this is the actual full screen patch. It's kind of necessary, in my opinion, or at least it's extremely helpful for uh, dealing with a window manager because most window managers come with an actual full screen built in. And a lot of uh, desktop environments have that same feature for like games, but. DWM by itself, the closest thing that you get to that is this monocle mode where it just shows one display or one window on your display, but that's just not the same. So we're going to go ahead and grab this actual full screen patch. So we're going to take this right here, the .diff file, click on it, and we can save page as. And we'll put it in the downloads folder here. We'll call it actual full screen blah 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 dot diff. And we're going to leave that in the downloads folder. So now let's move over to another desktop and we're going to emerge DWM just by itself. No config needed, just DWM. And you can do that by just installing DWM. Simple as that. There's not really any extra step to it. Let me actually make this slightly bigger. And one thing that you're going to want is you're going to want to put the use flag saved config. And of course, you already know how to do this, but you just head into Etsy portage make.conf and you'll see that saved config is hiding right here. You want this use flag and it only affects uh, a few programs that you'll install so there's not really a reason not to use it. I mean of course unless there, you have a specific use case that it doesn't work I always recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and emerge this, and when we're done, so we're going to say that we're done, it's already been emerged. We're going to head into etc, portage, and in this directory, there's a few things that you want. First of all, there's the saved config directory, so we're going to head inside of there. And inside of here, you'll see that the kind of layout is similar to the package names. So we're going to head into x11 window manager, and then we're going to see that we have dwm 6.2. You want to link this with ln-s to dwm62 and you want it to be dwm6.2.h. Create this little sim link. You'll see if I actually ll in this directory, ls-l. This is just a link. This Nothing changes. So if we now, well you have to be sudo for this or super user. If we edit this file, we want the .h of course, you'll see that we have syntax highlighting and with some text editors like for example, Vim, there won't be syntax highlighting unless you add the .h extension, hence why we're linking it. So here we are now in the config. Of course, it's not a raw config because I'm using my config, but we're going to go add a patch to this. And the normal way that you would do this is you would take the patch, go into the build directory of DWM and just patch it. It doesn't work quite that way when it comes to uh, DWM through Portage. The way that you'll actually go about doing this is we'll head back into the Portage directory is you want to create, I guess I don't have tree on this system, we want to create a patches directory and inside of it, similar naming scheme, we want x11 window manager and inside of x11 window manager the actual software DWM. So we're going to head inside of DWM now and here are where your patches are going to hide. So at this point if we wanted to we could cp from home downloads, we could CP this patch that we just downloaded, this actual full screen patch, and throw it inside of here, and we could emerge DWM. But there's one more issue. 
because we're not patching it normally, we're not patching it with the patch software because the source code is all in different spots when it comes to emerging it through portage. The config file hasn't been edited in a way that would actually allow this to work. So of course we need to head back into saved config, head into x11 window manager, and here we are, we have the DWM config files. We have to edit this file. So at this point, I'm going to move this over to our screen now because we want this up next to it. We want to see what's here. Here's how you read this file for those who have never done it. So first things first, we're seeing that config.def.h, which if you didn't know is the default config for DWM if you were to download the source code, has a change, one change right here. DWM.c has eight changes. DWM.c is going to be changed automatically when it comes time to emerge DWM because we've put it in the patches directory. It'll be applied normally. You'll see all of the changes to DWM.c are happening down here. We don't need to worry about this. We're totally fine here. What we do need to worry about is the part that says config.def.h, all of this. We'll see that there's a plus line right here. And it wants us to add this, this line right here. And we can kind of see we kind of see based on what's happening around it we kind of know where this where this line is being added so let's make this smaller so we can actually see the full lines if we head down here we'll see that right here uh, static keys this is like a little function static keys right here we can just add in this line mod key shift mask blah 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 toggle full screen just go ahead and copy that, head down here, and throw it in. So I'll put it right here just for the sake of it. Paste that right in, and we're fine. And now if we were to emerge GWM, we'd be all set, and everything would work fine. And that would be how we apply the patch. Of course, I've already applied this patch, so I'm not going to add this to the config a second time. So I'm going to remove it. You'll see I have it down here. Now, for the sake of good practice, you should always remember to add a comment in your config files since you're, added, you're editing them manually. Basically saying, vanity gaps, or not vanity gaps, I'm thinking of the wrong patch, actual full screen. Because we want to be able to keep track of where the changes that we've made are. We don't want to make a change in a patch, remove the patch, and now we don't know what parts of it to remove and add. So we've got that all working, so we can go ahead and save this file now. And if we were to emerge DWM again, so let's give that a shot. The compile should go smoothly, and next time we restart DWM, we'll be able to use the mod key plus F to full screen our program, though the default key is actually mod key shift F. There we go. Everything's fine. You'll see the user patches were applied. Building was saved the config file or building was building was done using the saved config file located in this directory as we talked about before. And everything is fine. So now let's say we want to do another patch. I'm going to choose um Always center. I don't know what always center is, but I believe I have this one. Floating windows are centered. Okay, let's take a look at this. This one doesn't have any config changes, so you could just throw this in the patches directory and emerge it. And there's one more that I wanted to look at. I believe alpha, but no, it's not alpha. It's it's one with a uh, with more changes being made to your actual screen. Maybe this. No, it doesn't seem so. Regardless, sometimes you'll see a minus rule. So over here we have pluses. Sometimes you'll see minuses on these lines. Same thing applies to uh, the way that we add lines. You can also remove lines. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I would recommend, though, that before you remove the lines, you just comment them out and then you put a little note above it saying, yeah, this is because I'm using this patch just to make sure you keep everything organized. So that's just a little, uh, I guess my little guide 
or I guess just explanation because it's not really a good guide, on how I go about patching and using DWM through portage rather than doing it from source. And this whole saved config rule can be used for a lot of things, including kernels. Uh, like, yeah, see, I even have a sys kernel right here. It, it can be used for most things, or most things that are compiled through portage that have a saved config. You can use this same kind of method. So that's a, a nice, a nice, uh, way to patch and edit configs through Portage. So if you like this video, leave it a like. Uh, hopefully it helped you out, and if not, you can go ahead and ask questions in the comments, or you can join my Discord, which a link will be in the description. There's a lot of cool people in there. They're always, uh, they're always very helpful for me, and I'm sure they'll help you too. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.